Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. So this video is going to be an update on our content schedule and the structure in regards to what type of videos we'll be uploading because a lot of you guys have been asking a lot of questions regarding uh, the frequency of uploads and what you can expect. And as I said, uh, we've, we've had to deal with a lot of issues with YouTube's copyright and community guideline strikes, but we've dealt with all of that now. And as you've noticed, we've been able to increase our production or uh, the amount of videos we're able to upload. Uh, the reason we have not been uploading consistently is because, uh, as I said, uh, we have switched to a model where we'll be uh, recording the videos uh, that are part of a bootcamp or a course and then uploading them once we're done. And what this does is it helps uh, set up a system where, you know, for any given month, we'll be focusing on one bootcamp or course and then moving on to the next one. And that'll avoid any interruptions or any issues, etc. Right. So in regards to the upload frequency, we're going to be going for three to five videos per week. So uh, if we're working on a particular bootcamp uh, during a month, you can find anywhere from three to five videos a week. We'll be uploading on mon Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Uh, and then, of course, on Saturday, we'll be having a Q&A live session, probably, uh, you know, two Saturdays every month. Uh, we'll be having a live stream where you can ask me your questions and I'll respond to them either on YouTube or on Twitch. I'll let you, you guys know uh, what platform we'll be using. And you guys can also, you know, hit me up with your suggestions regarding what platform you feel is better for this. And then, of course, uh, every month we hope to upload at least two uh, podcast episodes. This is going to be part of the CyberTalk podcast. And I'll get to that in a minute. Now, in regards to the content structure or the type of content we'll be uploading, we're going to be uh, uploading pen testing videos or courses, red teaming, uh, which we've actually worked on and we'll be uploading this month, uh, scripting, so Python 3 bash scripting, etc. And then a Linux video, so Linux security and exploitation. So we'll be focusing on both a red team, the red team side of things, and then the blue team side of things. And then, of course, web application security, DevSecOps, so, you know, Docker security, container security, etc. And then, of course, CTFs, which we've been covering quite a bit, uh, which is going to tie into various uh, certifications. So, as you know, we've made a playlist that focuses on the boxes that you need to go through to prepare for the OSCP series, for example, or the o OSCP certification. And then we'll be working on other certification training. Um, so, you know, CTFs, uh, the platforms we'll be using are going to be Hack the Box, Try Hack Me and other CTF competitions that I'll actually be getting into and I'll be uploading my, uh, my actual process or the walkthroughs. I will also have reverse engineering and malware analysis. A few other pieces or, or content that we'll be covering will involve networking because a lot of you guys have been requesting that, but we're still working on that because it is quite extensive. We're sort of going to be uploading content that, uh, again, is typically covered within the Network Plus certification, but of course, accessible for free. Every video on our channel is absolutely free, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, in regards to the content structure and the types of videos we'll be uploading. Um, so firstly, we have our bootcamp and course structure where we have uh, videos or upload videos that are part of a larger course or series. And uh, if you navigate uh, to our channel on YouTube and you take a look at the playlists there, uh, you can navigate or use those playlists uh, as a you know simple way of navigating through the videos. Or uh, if you want a structured uh, way of going through the videos, you can go through the playlists and they'll, they'll actually have the videos structured for you. So you can go through them step by step. Um, so any videos that we upload that are part of a playlist, you can access them through the play playlist itself. Uh, or you can start the playlist from the beginning and then move on. We're then going to have CTF walkthroughs, which I've just covered. So Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, Volnhub, etc. Other sites as well, but uh, we'll, we'll be getting to that when we get there. We'll then go through audience suggested content. So any suggestions that you guys provide to us, uh, we'll actually go through the suggestions and, uh, you know, essentially determine whether they're worth covering uh, in its own individual video. And then, of course, tool tutorials, which uh, again, also ties in closely to audience suggested content. So if you guys want us to make a video that explains how to use a tool or a framework uh, to achieve a specific outcome. We'll also work on that. And then, of course, Q&A and podcasts. This is going to cover the, uh, the most important aspect of the channel, which, again, is uh, the reason we're doing this is to increase our engagement with you guys, get an idea of what content you guys want to see, what new series or boot camps we should be working on, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll have a live stream uh, on two Saturdays every month. That's the, the objective there or the goal. And then the podcasts, uh, will, uh, with, within the CyberTalk podcast, we're going to be discussing various topics or questions that you guys submit. 
Uh, furthermore, we'll also be getting on guests, uh, you know, industry professionals, uh, so on and so forth, to discuss various ideas and topics. And uh, that is supposed to fill in the gap or to the, the podcast episodes are supposed to answer most of the questions that you've asked uh, that can't be explained in a video or are not really relative to a uh, the technical aspects of InfoSec. So, you know, questions, career advice, etc. Uh, now, I also wanted to highlight the ongoing courses that are not yet completed, but we're working on getting done. Number one is the pen testing bootcamp. So we're currently uh, on the, we're currently working on the pen testing, or sorry, on the vulnerability scanning and assessments uh, section. Uh, we've also been uploading videos to the, uh, or uploading post exploitation uh, videos to the bootcamp, uh, but we'll be updating the playlist so that it reflects the correct order you need to go through it, uh, or that you need to actually follow if you're going through it systematically. So we'll be moving on from the vulnerability scanning section to exploitation, post exploitation, privilege escalation, etc. We also, uh, we, we still have the malware analysis bootcamp still ongoing. We've completed the static analysis section, which was really, really great. I appreciate your guys' feedback on that. So we're now going to be moving into dynamic analysis. As for web app pen testing, we've uploaded, uh, you know, we've pretty much covered uh, all of the vulnerabilities within the OASP top 10. We're now going to approach it in a much more systematic way where we'll be uploading, uh, you know, we're going to be uh, structuring it into various phases. So recon um, and then exploitation and then taking a look at a particular vulnerability uh, testing various websites and platforms to give you an idea of how the vulnerability works and how it can be exploited and that will tie into the bug bounty series as well because those videos will be useful there so we'll be covering the process of you know reports report writing finding vulnerabilities fuzzing etc how to use burp suite how to use uh, oasp zap so on and so forth. And then of course the Python 3 scripting series, we're gonna start uh, uploading videos on how to build specific tools. And the same goes for bash scripting, so how to automate various processes, how to build your own scripts, so on and so forth, right? Now for the upcoming courses, which are going to start releasing this month, which we are really excited for that we've already completed. Number one is the Red Team Bootcamp. That's going to be uploaded uh, within this month. And uh, then we'll move on to the Blue Team Bootcamp. Uh, uh, the Active Directory pen testing bootcamp, and then Python 3 for pen testers, where we'll be covering how to build uh, really, really extensive, comprehensive tools with Python 3. And then, of course, the x86 reverse engineering course, with which a lot of you guys have been requesting. But as you can imagine, uh, that takes a while to produce because we wanted to get it right. We wanted to make sure that we're covering everything from the uh, from the beginning to the end, uh, so as to take you from someone who knows nothing about reverse engineering to someone who now has a good grip of, uh, you know, how to reverse engineer uh, binaries, applications, etc., And that's going to be quite comprehensive because we're going to be covering C, assembly, uh, using debuggers, uh, you know, et cetera, all, all of that good stuff. So it, it is quite extensive. We're currently in the process of wrapping that up. So uh, we should be uploading that uh, before the end of this year. As for the other boot camps, they'll be uploaded from October moving onwards. And then, of course, we'll be completing the, the, the current ongoing boot camps and courses. Now, as for the CyberTalk podcast, which I've just explained, uh, we, you know, these episodes are going to be, uh, you know, uh, they're, they're going to deal with discussions on various interesting topics uh, pertinent to InfoSec and cybersecurity. We're going to answer your questions. Uh, you know, I'll be providing career advice based on the questions you've been asking me. And then, of course, conversations with industry professionals and leaders. Um, so all of this will tie into some very interesting episodes that will hopefully fill in the gap uh, in regards to, you know, career advice, questions, uh, you know, discussions on uh, pertinent topics. Uh, also, we'll be, we'll be trying to cover some of the latest news within InfoSec uh, and the cybersecurity industry, so on and so forth. And then, of course, uh, I get a lot of questions regarding the platforms and how you can reach me and contact me. And that's what I'm going to be explaining within this slide. So. Our blog is accessible at hackexploit.org. This is where you'll find out our write-ups for our videos that we'll make, and then any other tutorials or guides that we'll, we are currently working on. Uh, furthermore, we're working on a courses page that will uh, essentially provide you with a structured way of going through the courses on our YouTube channel. So for example, the pen testing bootcamp will have a page on our blog that uh, will essentially sort out every video, will provide you with a description and any resources that we covered within that video, and that'll give you a structured uh, overview of the course and uh, you can then use that uh, if you're going through the videos uh, you know sequentially our forum which is accessible at forum.hackersploit.org 
is where you can have in-depth discussions and ask questions, uh, you know, and uh, we have quite a few members now. I think we have about 2000 members. So if you have any uh, discussions or posts or any write-ups that you want to post for the community, you can do that there. Uh, you know, we, it's uh, open to anyone. As I said, uh, you know, this is a great place to post your, your open source projects that you're working on or any other tools that you've developed because you'll get feedback. Uh, we'll be able to test out the tools. You'll, you'll be able to, you know, engage with the community, so on and so forth. And then, of course, our Discord server is used for discussions, questions, and collaboration. Uh, you can check it out. Uh, the links to all of these platforms will be in the description section. If you want to contact me directly, the best way of doing that is either through the forum or through the Discord server. If you want to tweet directly at me, you can do that. Uh, my Twitter link or my profile is in the description section. Uh, my username is just Hackersploit. I don't really respond to emails nowadays, primarily because, uh, again, e um, it I usually get quite a few emails, but uh, I can't really have an in-depth discussion within an email. Uh, it's much better to have it on the forum because other people can also uh, help you out or answer your questions. And if you want to reach me personally, if you have a query, you can do that on Discord and I'll respond much faster than uh, you would uh, or than I would if uh, I was responding to an email. So I do respond to some emails, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that I get a lot of emails and going through each email and responding to it will take a, a while. So if you've sent me an email before and I haven't responded to it, that's not because I've ignored it, it's because I get a lot of emails. So I'll try and respond to them as much as I can and hopefully I can clear out the questions that you guys have already sent me. Uh, that being said, we're really excited to move into this new direction now in regards to the content that we're going to be working on. You can, as I said, expect videos. Uh, from Monday onwards that follow this structure and uh, you know three to five videos every week so really excited let me know what you guys think in the comment section and yeah really excited to get this moving on and I'll be seeing you in the next video